Let's get right in. Get everyone in, get everyone in. Once we've got a few people in, I'll start a warm up. Laura, Laura, Laura. What's up, Tina? Hope everyone's well. Morning, Beth. Laura, you best join in. Hey, Kerry. I'll give you guys a few more seconds now. Get up and we'll do a quick. Warm up. It'll take about four or five minutes. Not long. Hope everyone's all right this morning. Right. Let's get ready. Find a space. Make sure you've got enough distance around you. We're just going to start jogging the spot. Gently pick those knees up. Just get ourselves warmed up. Okay, you're going to drop, give me five squats, nice and light, get those knees out. Alright, back into the jog. Just stay on the tops of your toes, on the balls of your feet. Gently lock in, five squats again, down, one. Five, back into that jog. Just want you to go side to side of your feet. Staying on the tops of your toes. The balls of your feet, just going side to side. And relax. Go into a lunge position. Just going to go four lunges on one leg. And then change the leg over. Three, four, shake it, little jog again. Just get your heart rate up, get yourself ready so that we can go properly, not get any injuries. Hold it there, wide feet, just pulse side to side. Straighten that leg out, bend with the other one, and lean towards the bent knee. Be up you can. Bring one leg up, hold it with your hand, push your hips forward, keep those knees relatively close together, and squeeze your leg as far as you can towards your bum and push the hips forward. Feel it go through your quad into your hip flexor and relax that out. Same thing, other leg, hold on to something if you need. Squeeze the glutes, push your hips forward. Oh. Right, tight. Relax that out. Same thing, just gonna swing the leg forward and back. Hold on to something if you need. And change the leg over. Other leg, swing it. Get higher and higher each time. And relax. Just a gentle swivel around the hips. Nice and easy. Open up the chest. Go diagonally as well and then reach up to the sky control that down okay, two more one two good shake it off get yourself ready show you what we're going to do morning graham morning debs and eva's watching so she best be joining in Right, 
three leg exercises to start. I'll show you all three. We're going to run through this, have a rest. We'll do it three times. First one is our reverse lunge with a leg drive. So come to a standing point, bring one leg back, brush the knee on the floor, drive that leg up, hit with the opposite hand. Okay, we're staying on one leg the whole time. So you're going to bring it back each time. After that, we're going to go on the floor. We're going to go into a single leg glute bridge. So normal glute bridges like so. This time, we're just bringing one leg off the floor, pinching with our bum. So hips are coming as high as they'll go, and you're squeezing that bum. And then lastly, we're up, we're doing that out and in jumps. Touch the floor, in, out, touch the floor, in, out. Okay, nice and simple. So find your space, make sure it's safe. You've got 30 seconds on each one. So that first one's pick a leg to start with, we're going reverse lunge. Driving that leg through. Going in three, two, one, off we go. Touch the knee on the floor, just gently, and power up. Hit that hand. When you're doing this, make sure your leg goes out ever so slightly, so you've got a nice balance. So see how my knee doesn't go straight back, it goes just ever so slightly to the side. Keep that posture up, nice and tall. Drive that knee through. If you can't get the knee through, just come to the middle. Back up, come to the middle. Lovely. Hold it there. Change the leg over. Get set. And let's go. So other leg out. Power up. Power up. Go at your pace for this. Smash your knee through. Hit the hand. Look how high my knee comes. That's where I want you to be. Past your hip. Keep your balance the whole time. Keep that core engaged. Keep it going. Two, one, down the floor. Done our quads, let's get our glutes now. Get yourself set into, into the position. Three, two, one. Pick a leg you're gonna start with. Bring it one leg up and just straight up to the sky. Control down and power your leg up. Hips as high as I'll go. Control down, touch the floor, power up. You wanna really squeeze with your leg and your bum as high as it'll go. Lovely, hold it there, change the leg over, get yourself ready. Let's go. Up to the sky, feel the pinch. Hold that squeeze for about half a second when you get to the top. So we're up, hold, back down. Up, hold, back down. You're gonna really feel this in your bum. Your hips doing the work to come up, and that's what's working your bum. Lovely, up you come. Shake your legs out. We're going out and in jumps. Ready? Let's go. Touch the floor. In, out. Touch the floor. In, out. Remember to bend your knees during this. Okay, if your back's not coming down like so, you want to keep your chest up. Bend the knees, touch the floor. Keep going. Five seconds. And time. Hold it there. Ooh, have a quick drink if you need. Welcome in the comments. Finding anything too difficult. You got about a 30 second breather, and we're going to go again. Starting with those reverse lunges. Remember, if you can't bring that leg back and then forwards, go back, meet in the middle, go back again. 15 more seconds rest. Five seconds. Get up, find your space, get yourself ready. 
pick a leg you want to start on, reverse lunge, three, two, one, let's go. Kiss the floor with that knee, drive the knee forward up, hit that hand, use your hand as a guide. Remember as well that this planted knee needs to stay fixed. We don't want any wobble in it. It's pointing in the same direction as your toes and keeping everything stable. Everything's going through that quad. So that knee's got to stay still. And change the leg over. Get ready. Let's go. You'll find one leg is particularly better than the other. Weirdly, mine's my left even though I'm right footed. Keep going, keep the tension on the knee. Really focus on it being strong and stable. Sound like Theresa May. Keep it going, bring that knee through. Keep the core engaged, otherwise you're gonna lose balance. And hold it there, down on the floor. Go into our glutes, get those booty gains, ready? Pick a leg, let's go. Hinge towards the sky. Keep that heel on the floor. Squeeze the glutes at the top of each motion. When you come up, squeeze back down. Up, squeeze back down. The hips trying to hit the ceiling. Lovely, hold it there, change the leg around. Get yourself set, let's go. Up to the sky, pinch and hold. Squeeze it. This is really good for our posterior chain as well. Our spinal health. Because we're using our core to stay stable and our glutes as stabilizers. Keep going, keep going. Four, three, two, one. Up you come to your feet. Get yourself ready. We're going in and out jumps. Let's go. Touch the floor, in, out. Make sure we're bending our knees. You dictate the pace of this. Should be working hard though. Okay, we'll keep it going, chest up. Keep that core tight. Quick feet in the middle, back out, whack the floor. Three seconds. And time. Another drink break. Oh, is everyone still here? Everyone's too tired to write anything, I'm knackered. Okay, you've got another 30 seconds or so rest. So far, if anyone's interested, we're about 150 cows. Ooh. Ooh. Keep going, keep working hard. Leg bit is almost done. Okay, find yourself, your space again. Get yourself up. Ooh. Last round through on the legs. Get yourself ready. Reverse lunge to begin with in three, two, one. Let's go. Pick that leg, drive through, smash the knee. Find your balance, I like to do opposite hand to the knee that's bent. Helps me keep balance. You can do what you want. You can keep your hands here if you like, and then hit your hand. Whatever works best for you. Remember, if you can't get that knee through, bring it in into the middle, back out, into the middle. Two, one, lovely. Pick your other leg, let's go. Back and drive through. Oh, hello Kieran, come on. Boom, drive through, that's what I want. Keep the core engaged, nice and tight. Don't lose that balance. Bam, bam, boom. Sound effects optional. Two, 
One, down the floor, let's go. Get yourself set, pick a leg, off we go. Nice and high. Really want those glutes to work. If you find the single leg too difficult, just do two rounds of normal glute bridge. So both feet on the floor, squeezing the glutes to the sky. If you can, do those single legs. It's just going to target your glute a little bit more. Put more pressure through it. For three seconds. Let's go. Two. One. Change the leg over. Get the other leg ready. Let's go. Up to the sky. Control back down after that squeeze. Power up. Control, touch, squeeze. Down, squeeze. Keep going, keep that heel pressed into the floor. And then you're straightening the hips. Hips coming up, straight, squeeze the glutes. Three seconds. Two, one. Lovely. Up you come. Last little bit of the legs. Ready? Out and in jumps. Let's go. Touch the floor. Up in. Keep going, keep going. Almost through. Any crack in your here is my ankle for some reason. Blessed with great joints. Keep going. Come on, come on, come on. Almost there. Two, one. Lovely. Grab your drink, have a little quick sip. First mini circuit done. Tricep. Any questions, let me know. I'm gonna show you the next two exercises while you have your rest. So, have your drink, don't worry about doing this yet, just have a little look at me. So the first exercise is gonna be a flow press up. So we've not done this one before with me. We're gonna come into a press up position, okay? Shoulders nice and straight with the hands. Create that triangle with your nose and your hands. Then from here, all you need to do is you're gonna bend down, bend your knees, straighten the arms, come back in, press up, bend out, press up, okay? Create a flow. Okay, if you struggle with that, you need to go to your knees. Same thing, you come into that bend. Down, knees, press up, up, into the flow. Down, knees. Real simple to do. After that, we're gonna come up. We're gonna keep hitting that cardio. So you're gonna come into your running man, so opposite hand, opposite, opposite foot, and just change it. Nice and fast. If you wanna make this harder, you can come into a bit of a jumping lunge, okay? You dictate how hard you wanna make that one. So, get yourself up. Let's get ourselves set into that flow press up position. Remember, you can go to your knees, it's fine. Get yourself set up. Start in that press up position. Gonna go in three, two, one. Let's go. So, we're bending down, getting that flow. Press up, back in. Press up. We need to bend the knees, keep the core tight throughout. You're just kicking the bum back, bend the knees, straighten the arms back in. Again, if you start to struggle, you can come into the knees, press up, back up. Knees, press up, back up. Two, one, up we come. Get ourselves set, running man, let's go. So you can go nice and fast up here, or you can make it more targeted towards your legs, bend a little bit more, create a jumping lunge. I sort of go about halfway. So my knees are bent, but I'm running as well. Keep going, keep going. Five seconds. And time, shake it off. Whew. 30 second breather. Gonna go again. Morning, Ellen. As usual, Ellen, late to the live, but go to the star. Whew. 
10 more seconds. So get yourself prepped and ready. Press up position to begin with, getting that flow. So hands on the floor, ready in the press up, and off we go. So down, get the press up out, come into your flow. Really important you bend the knees, stretch the arms back. Just make the press ups a, bit, a little bit more cardio based. Still keeping our form throughout. Again, if you struggle, come to those knees, get it out, then back into your flow, up you come. Running man, get yourself set, ready, and let's go. Nice and fast, so if you struggle on the legs, you can stay up tall, pump the arms, pump the legs. If you just wanna go a little bit harder, bend it a bit. Go opposite hand, opposite leg. Keep going, keep going. Five seconds. And time. Another breather, 30 seconds breather. Whew. Make sure you're having a drink throughout. Stay hydrated to get them warm. Sweat in. Still exercises after this. Okay, five seconds, get yourself down to the floor. Getting that flow press up. Ready, set, off we go. Press up, bend the knees, press up. Make sure your feet are wide enough for this. They're not too narrow. If you get too narrow, you won't be able to bend your knees as, as easily. So widen your feet up just slightly. Bend into it. Sit in. Oh, socks are slipping. Keep going. And two, one, up you come. Running man, last one of these. Let's go straight into it. Get those legs pumping. Make sure they're not little ones, okay, it's pointless. You gotta go nice and long and wide. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We've only got two more sets of exercises left. And time. Grab a drink, have a break. A small break. Oh, yeah, yeah. You should be sweating. I am. Just doing another one, mine. I'm getting all the excuses in Alan. It's just like when you say that the do you had to take the dog somewhere before our classes. They were rubbish, really. I think you just avoided me. Okay, we got three exercises in a row. Just the last superset. So first exercise, we're back into that press up position. This time we're going shoulder tap and then knee tap. So what that looks like is you're in that press up, shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee. Back in, shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee. And then you're gonna roll over. We're gonna do heel tap. So your shoulders come off, you're just tapping the heels, okay? Using that core to move. And then lastly, we'll go toe taps. So you're coming up, touch your opposite toe, back in, touch your opposite toe. Okay, so it's called the tap round. Two sets. Get yourself ready. We're gonna go through this, otherwise we'll run out of time. Ready? So shoulder tap and knee taps to start. Let's go. In that position, tap the shoulder, opposite hand, opposite shoulder. Opposite knee, opposite knee, back in. When you're in that shoulder tap position, make sure your bum's nice and low, your core's stable. 
We don't want to over rotate here. To make it easy, we want to keep our core real tight. Keep going. When you're going for that knee, you can bring your bum up ever so slightly to get to it. Hold it there, roll onto your back. Heel taps. Let's go straight into it. Keep the shoulders off. Tapping the heels. The further away you put your feet, the harder this becomes. Keep going, keep going. Three, two, one, lovely. Get yourself ready, hands out, feet out. Let's go. Bring it up, touch the opposite side. If you're struggling to get all the way up to your toe, come up, hit your knee. If you can, get all the way up, bring that leg up, touch the toes. Keep going, you guys got five seconds. Three, two, one. Lovely. Small, small rest. Keep an eye on the time. <laughs> Have a small, small break. We've got about 10 more seconds of rest. We're going through that round last time, then we'll cool down. Then that's it, done. You can tick that off your Wednesday checklist. So far, we're at 310 cows. Let's get some more, ready? Shoulder taps and knee taps to start. Let's get into it straight away. Here we go. Opposite hand to so the opposite leg. Keep that core real, real tight. Keep it engaged. Focus on keeping that body as still as possible when you're doing the shoulders. Keep going, keep going, come on. Last little bit. Well done, roll onto your back, heel taps. Two more exercises, ready, set, let's go. Keep the shoulders off. Focus on something between your leg, not, what, not that. Something like a cushion, whatever you can see. Five seconds. Two, one, oh, lovely. Let's get set. Get those opposite toes. Ready? Set. Let's go. Uh, hit that opposite toe. Whoa. Come on, core's burning. Let's keep it going. Less than 10 to go. Two, one, lovely work. Smashed it. Have a drink and come up to a standing point. We'll do a quick cool down. So bring yourself up. All we're going to do is bring that one leg up, keep the knees together, push the hips forward. Hold it there, just relax into these stretches. Good. Drop it down, other leg up, hold on to something if you need. Knees together, push the hips forward. Oh, lovely work. Bring one leg in front of the other, bend this back leg, keep those to toes pointed forwards. Toes pointing forwards goes towards our hamstring more. If we bring our toe up, it goes into our calf more. So rest your let all your all your weight onto the other leg. Stretch this one out. Lovely. Change the leg over. Same thing. Stretch that one leg out. Put the weight onto the other. Up you come. Nice gentle swivel around the hips. Oh, 
open up the chest, get rid of that press up tension. Roll the shoulders back. And forwards. And just give a little roll around your neck. Go one way, then the other. And relax, smashing work. Top stuff. Any questions, whack them in. No worries, Kerry. Anytime, anytime, Luz. Well done, Deb. What did I get then? I got 300 active calories and 350 normal calories. Any questions, guys? I'll be here for the next minute. Whack him in. No worries, Alan. Now you can redo this one, the beginning one, the bit that you missed. Just a reminder as well, guys, that on Friday, there's only going to be one session because it's a bank holiday. That session is going to be the Jules one, the Freestyle Friday. So if you're feeling up to it on a Friday, go do that workout. It's going to be the only one that's going to be live. Otherwise, you know where all of our ones are, YouTube and on Facebook. That's all right, Kerry.